Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We are here today on a 5M tutorial. That's right, fair enough. And today we are going to be installing or setting up a 5M server, obviously on Windows. I might do a Linux tutorial later on with this, but we're going to do Windows today. In terms of port forwarding and all that, we're not going to do that today. It's simply going to be a local host style server, but I will be covering, hopefully, port forwarding in a future video. So to start off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pop yourself over to 5M. Um, 5M docs.5M.net is the best place to do that. There is a link down to everything we're using in the description below. For some reason, this set of instructions becomes unclear to some people. It is very direct, I believe, but some people don't get it. I only, I'm only going here to get the links. So we're going to go to the artifact server here. Oh, they've changed this up. Look at this. All right, this is the Windows Artifact Server. So, 17th of January. So, yesterday was the last server build. And you can obviously go all the way down to older versions and all that. Or even the revoked ones before the big security issue. Whatever. There's a lot of server versions in it. Um, but we're going to download the latest, which is this one. So, you're going to download server.zip out of the Artifact Server. I really like this new system they got going here. Um... So that's what we're going to do, and obviously you have your Linux ones here as well. Linux is a little bit different installing, but again, there's instructions here. Linux users are, tend to be more advanced anyway, let's be honest. Um, so now that the server.zip is downloading, once it opens, we're going to open it up, and we're going to simply follow the instructions here. We're also going to have to go to that GitHub, and we'll also have to go to Keymaster. Now that we have server 2 right here in a zip folder, we're going to put it on our D drive. This is the recommended drive, I guess, because um, it has it on the website. But we're going to make a folder here. We're going to call it FX server. Simply like so. Essentially, we'll go into here and we're going to drag everything in here and put it into here. It's going to unpack it all. It's going to go a nice, easy process. You need to have WinRAR or 7-zip. Um, for easy access, but it is a zip file, so you should be able to open a stock anyway. It's added everything into here. Now what we need to do is clone, or, well not clone on Windows, but, you know, when you download this zip here, it's the easiest way to do it. Straight off the GitHub. Link to this will also be in the description, and it's also on here, right about here. We will put this over in Tor. I don't know why the downloads feature is very slow. Chrome, Chrome's a bit slow today. Um, but you have this is the resources folder. This is where you put all your server resources and all that sort of jazz. Um, see that just what the fuck are you doing? All right, this is just finished. All right, easy. So we're gonna make a folder in here, in here, in our server data folder. We're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call it server dash data or lowercase. In here, you want to drag this resources folder directly in. You don't need to get there. You don't really need that. Boom, you got your resources folder. You're making a good start. Now you need to make your server config. Again, this link right here is down below, and you essentially open up this. We'll open up Visual Studio Code today. And hopefully, it's not already in the workspace. Yeah, well that, that's what I did. That's what I was working on last night. Um, but we'll make a new file, and we will make it a CFG. No, we're not going to rename it. Screw it. We're going to copy everything here, and we are simply going to put it into a text editor. You can put in any text editor you want. We're going to go to save it, and it's going to not go on the boat trailer script. It's unreleased, guys. You can't see it. Um, it's going to go into the FX server folder and into server data. And you're simply going to call it server.cfg. Just server config. Now it's going to do this. In here, you don't really have to touch this unless you know what you're doing. This is where you start your resources. We're going to start resources here soon. I'll show you how to install your first resource. Um, you can rename your server here. Faxes cool server. Alright, you can do that, and if you scroll all the way down here, your license key is here, and you're going to need to change this. So, for that one, all you simply have to do 
is go over to the license key management. You can add home host or whatever you're doing it for, home host. You can put your um, IP address here. You would have to actually put your IP, I'm not putting my IP obviously, you put whatever one of these it is and you would click the capture and generate it. Very simple. Please take note, your license key does not go in quotation marks. You don't do that. You just leave it like that and the server handles itself. No need to change it for any other reason. You can set your max clients here, which is 32 at the moment, as it says there. A lot of this is commented out so you know exactly what you're doing with it and it's all here. So pretty much we have nearly installed our 5M server fully. So essentially all we need to do now is if you were to follow the tutorial here, you need to run it from the correct locations. We've done our license key, we've done the server config, now we need to open command prompt. So, in command prompt, you would essentially cd into your fx server folder, and I need to fix the capitalization on this. Alright, fx with a capital X, that is my fault. Or you can just change it in the command down here, whatever. You're going to do this. Copy that and you're going to put it into here. Yeah, VS Code, that's right, right. Try it again. Alright, you're going to do that. You're going to press enter and it's going to put you into there. And you also want to, not that bit, but you also want to copy this bit. This is going to start the server. This is what's going to make the magic happen. So now, if we press enter on that one, it's going to ask to do some firewall stuff. We're going to allow access, obviously. And there you go, you have a server going. If you go into 5M, launch the bloody thing up, it should appear under localhost. Again, port forwarding I will cover in a different video. This is to set up a localhost server, which it's pretty easy to port forward. You can Google it anywhere. So if you don't have this localhost setting up here, you simply go on settings and you got that button right there. You just give that a little click, clickety click, click localhost and we're connecting to our vanilla server. Does not have a single resource in it and you can put as many resources in as you want. To install a simple resource, you can click the video at the end of this tutorial and that will show you how to do it. But as for now, this is pretty much it. For installing the server, we'll load in perfectly fine here and we'll go blow ourselves up and we'll leave. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.